today we are going to talk about how there is a change in the equilibrium because of the change in the demand or the supply curve previously we have looked at the situation of equilibrium humne baat kari hai ki kaise demand aur supply curve ke intersection point pe hum equilibrium uh, establish karte hain and we have also looked at two cases of disequilibrium one the case of a shortage and one the case of surplus today we are going to talk about how this equilibrium could be changed and how with changes in external factors a new equilibrium could be established aur isko samajhne ke liye hum kuch examples lenge the first example that we are taking is the change in the market equilibrium due to a shift in the demand curve and uh, ek particular scenario hum yahan par le rahe hain which is the market for ice cream and we are saying that suppose the weather becomes hot what will be the effect on the market of ice cream and we are following three simple steps to understand how will the market equilibrium get changed and how will a new equilibrium get established hame pehle identify karna hai ki demand aur supply mein se kaun sa market force change ho raha hai and it is quite clear that the demand is changing and in fact the demand is increasing because there is a change in weather the weather has become hotter people's tastes and preferences will change so we know that the demand curve is going to shift suppose that the initial equilibrium of the economy was at this point e where the prices were p star and quantity was q star now because weather has changed it has resulted into change in taste and preferences and if you remember uh, the reasons that we had discussed while discussing shifts in demand curve one of the reasons was changes in taste and preferences so if the people's taste and preferences are changing then that will result into an change in the demand curve and that is happening in the increasing direction so we can say that the demand curve will shift rightwards there is more quantity demanded at the given prices so the demand curve will shift rightwards now because the demand curve have has shifted rightwards so first part is to identify ki uh, demand or supply mein se kaun si cheez affect ho rahi hai second part is to understand और आइडेंटिफाई द डायरेक्शन ऑफ द चेंज और हम ये बोल सकते हैं कि द डिमांड इज इंक्रीजिंग वी कैन नॉट से दैट द डिमांड इज डिक्रीजिंग वी वी नो दैट द डिमांड इज इंक्रीजिंग नाउ द सी पार्ट इज टू अंडरस्टैंड द न्यू इक्विलिब्रियम इफ यू लुक एट दिस ग्राफ नाउ एट द ओल्ड इक्विलिब्रियम इफ यू से हमारी इकोनॉमी का इक्विलिब्रियम यहीं पे रहेगा यू विल नोटिस दैट एट द ओल्ड प्राइस देर इज अनेरियो ऑफ एक्सेस डिमांड सो इफ आई extend this at the same price if the prices do not change in the market because of this increase in demand now there will be excess demand in the market because uh, you know this is the amount of quantity demanded and this is the amount of quantity supplied at price p star this will create a problem of shortage ye ek disequilibrium scenario create karega market mein and because this is creating a problem of shortage uh, you will notice that the market will start increasing its price the price will start increasing because of this problem of shortage the prices will increase and as the prices increase there will be more supply and the demand will start falling and eventually you will move back so this is the quantity demanded at the old price and this is the quantity supplied at the old price as the price increases you will notice that the supply will start increasing and the demand will start falling slightly and you will reach a new equilibrium point which will be this point and this will be the new equilibrium point where now the equilibrium quantity will be this and the equilibrium price will be this so whenever there is a shift in the demand curve specifically a rightward shift in the demand curve then you notice that a new equilibrium is established and at this new equilibrium the prices are higher and the quantity is also higher now one thing that has to be noted here is that uh, you need to understand the difference between change in let's say supply versus change in quantity supplied yahan pe you will notice that because of the change in demand because of the shift in the demand the change has also occurred in the quantity supplied but this change has occurred not because of the shift in the supply curve but because of the movement along the supply curve so you need to understand the difference between shift and movement 
शिफ्ट अकर होता है किसी एक्सटर्नल फैक्टर की वजह से जैसे कि डिमांड में शिफ्ट हुआ है यहाँ पे द डिमांड कर्व हैज शिफ्टेड इसको हम बोलते हैं चेंज इन डिमांड ठीक है लेकिन बिकॉज ऑफ दिस शिफ्ट इन द डिमांड कर्व यू नोटिस दैट द क्वांटिटी सप्लाइड हैज आल्सो चेंज्ड पहले क्वांटिटी सप्लाई हो रही थी इतनी इनिशियल इक्विलिब्रियम नाउ द क्वांटिटी सप्लाइड इज दिस सो देर इज अ चेंज इन दप्लाई ऑल्सो बट दिस इज बिकॉज ऑफ द मूवमेंट इन द सप्लाई कर्व द सप्लाई कर्व हैज मूव फ्रॉम दिस पॉइंट टू दिस पॉइंट ये जो चेंज हुआ है क्वांटिटी सप्लाइड में दिस इज नॉट बिकॉज ऑफ द शिफ्ट इन द सप्लाई कर्व दिस इज बिकॉज ऑफ द मूवमेंट इन द सप्लाई कर्व मूवमेंट अलोंग द सप्लाई कर्व और इसको हम बोलते हैं चेंज इन क्वांटिटी सप्लाइड वेर एज अगर आप डिमांड की बात करो तो डिमांड हैज आल्सो इंक्रीज एंड दिस इंक्रीज इन डिमांड इज बिकॉज ऑफ द शिफ्ट इन द डिमांड कर्व नॉट बिकॉज ऑफ द मूवमेंट आप नोटिस करोगे कि पहले क्वांटिटी डिमांडेड ये थी और अब क्वांटिटी डिमांडेड ये है दिस इंक्रीज इज हैपनिंग बिकॉज ऑफ द चेंज इन डिमांड सो दिस हैज टू बी अंडरस्टूड वेरी केयरफुली दैट क्वांटिटी डिमांडेड इज इंक्रीजिंग बिकॉज ऑफ चेंज इन डिमांड इन दिस पर्टिकुलर केस एंड क्वांटिटी सप्लाई इज इंक्रीजिंग बिकॉज ऑफ चेंज इन क्वांटिटी सप्लाइड दिस डिफरेंस हैज टू बी अंडरस्टूड दिस शुड बी क्लियर वेन वी टेक द नेक्स्ट एग्जाम्पल विच इज चेंज इन दप्लाई कर्व or the shift in the supply now let's take another example suppose that during some time in the summer season a hurricane has destroyed part of the sugarcane crop and this has resulted in the change in the supply so you again have uh, an initial demand and supply curve this is your initial demand curve this is your initial supply curve this is your initial equilibrium point now you are saying that some hurricane has occurred there has been some destruction uh, in the sugar cane market or iski wajah se supply will get affected so again you will try to understand this in three parts this is your initial equilibrium first part is to identify whether this particular event will affect the demand or the supply and you notice that this will affect the supply because sugar cane crop destroy hua hai so that will affect the supply in which direction will it affect the supply we are still looking at the market for ice cream and we are saying that because the sugar cane supply has got affected this will affect the price of sugar because sugar is derived from sugar cane and because price of sugar has increased because sugar cane industry mein destruction hua hai so the sugar will also get sold for higher prices or higher prices ki wajah se market of ice cream will also get affected because the input price now changing and we have read jab hum supply curve ke shift ki baat kar rahe the to humne padha tha that one factor that affects the uh, shift in the supply is change in the input prices now that sugar cane industry is getting affected it will lead to an increase in the sugar prices which will lead to a change in the supply in the ice cream market and in which direction it will move in the leftward direction yeah or the supply will decrease and the demand curve does not change at all because ye sara jo bhi market mein change ho raha hai this is not affecting the demand curve so you notice in the second step that the supply curve shifts to the leftward direction theek hai now at the same price p suppliers specifically are willing to sell lesser because now it is expensive for them to produce ice cream because of the event or the destruction that has occurred in the sugar cane market so the supply will shift leftwards people are now willing to sell lesser quantities at the same price now because of this shift in the supply curve you notice that there is an increase in the price why now at the old price at the old equilibrium you will notice problem of shortage and we know that whenever there is a problem of shortage or excess demand in the market it result to an increase in prices which will happen at the new equilibrium point so this will be the new equilibrium point you will notice that the prices will increase to this point and as the prices increase you notice that the demand will start falling and the supply will start increasing and ultimately it will decrease and increase to a point that it reaches the new equilibrium which is this point and you notice that at the new equilibrium now if you compare it with the old equilibrium 
the prices have increased but now the quantity has fallen if you compare this with the previous example jahan pe there was a rightward shift in the demand curve the resultant was the new equilibrium was increasing both prices and quantity but is wale case mein you notice that the new equilibrium is increasing the prices but it is decreasing the quantity let's try and understand what is happening to both quantity demanded and quantity supplied quantity demanded you will notice agar aap old equilibrium se new equilibrium ko compare karo you will notice that the quantity demanded is falling and the quantity supplied is also falling but quantity demanded is falling because of the movement in the demand curve whereas the quantity supplied is falling because of the shift in the supply curve so that has to be understood that there is a change in the quantity demanded whereas there is a change in the supply yahan pe hum quantity supplied ki baat nahi kar rahe hain yahan pe hum bol rahe hain there is a change in supply which reflects the fact that there is a shift in the supply curve whereas we are saying that there is a change in quantity demanded which reflects the fact that there is a movement along the demand curve so these two uh, concepts have to be understood very very clearly now the next example and uh, actually the last example is uh, when both demand and supply curve change there is a shift in both supply and demand now suppose that uh, both the situations that we have described in the previous cases have occurred together which is that temperature has increased and at the same time the hurricane has hit the sugarcane market now first step we determine Uh, that both the demand and the supply curve will shift so first we begin with the old equilibrium which is this is the first equilibrium initial equilibrium now hot weather affects the demand curve because it shifts the demand curve in the rightward direction and hurricane changes the supply curve it affects the supply curve because the the destruction in the sugarcane industry will result in an increase in price of sugar and that will affect the market for ice cream from the supply side so now we notice that both the demand curve and the supply curve are changing but they are changing in the opposite direction the demand curve is increasing where the supply curve is decreasing we want to understand what will be the change in the equilibrium now and you will notice that this case is different from the previous two cases because you will have two possible scenarios in this situation when both the demand and the supply curve changes and we know that the demand is changing in the rightward direction and the supply is changing in the leftward direction you will notice that there are two possible cases so this is the first case where you notice that at the new equilibrium both the prices and quantity has increased the equilibrium quantity has also increased and the prices have also increased this is the first possible case that because of the change in the demand and the supply curve because specifically because of the increase in the demand curve and decrease in the supply curve you notice that the prices have increased and quantity has also increase there could be another possibility wherein you will notice that at the new equilibrium you notice that although the prices have increased but the quantity has decreased and you notice that the difference between these two cases is primarily the intensity of the shift in the supply curve and the demand curve in this particular case you will notice that the demand curve is shifting more than the shift in the supply curve whereas in this case you notice that the supply curve is shifting more than the demand curve so whenever the the shift in the supply curve is greater than the shift in the demand curve this is the kind of case you will have and whenever the shift in demand is greater as compared to the shift in supply you will have first case so as a conclusion you can say that whenever there is a shift in both supply and demand curve prices are increasing for sure in both the cases prices are increasing but effect on the quantity is ambiguous is uncertain 